After I posted this video, a couple people asked how to make the crowd with all of them looking towards her and we have the back. It's really not that hard. There's, um, so I always say that we're going, that I'm going to be quick and I rarely am, but this should be quick. So we already know with our 3D characters, we can rotate them so that we can see the back of them. Those are easy. You can then change their clothes, change their skin color. You can do all sorts of adjustments so that they can look like different characters. And then you can just have a bunch of people in the crowd of your 3D characters. However, you also have some options with our other 3D characters that are in the studio. So let me show you where those are. I shouldn't be worrying about scaling, but it was driving me crazy. And you could make this guy three or four different characters, all of that. But if you go to studio and you go to your characters and just sort through your 3D characters, there are already some in there with a back view. We, I know that Esther is one of them. So you will see if you go to actions, she has back view and idle, back view and pointing, and back view and waving. So you can choose one or all of those in some sort of a sequence. We also have the Memoji guy and girl. They are both, they both have those same back views that I just saw you, that I just showed you with Esther. So we can have waving and pointing. I don't know, whatever you want to make them. Um, when we look at her, oh, no, she might be okay. I didn't know if we had to go to properties and flip. Nope, we want to keep her in that orientation. Then some other ones that have the back view are Robin. He also will have those options. We do need to flip him if I put him over here. So you have all of those. And when we get our new um, 360 characters, you'll also be able to have others that do that. Sorting through all of the ones that you might want to do um, can take some time. I do like, I don't know if he would be in the audience of any kind of event, but I like this guy has walking back view, so you can have him cute in the back. He wouldn't be stationary, but he has a walking back view. Now, if you want to sort the and see who has them, their support page has the list of characters and their actions, and I can just put um, back view. And then we'll see Charlotte has that. Chad. So there are other ones um, beyond the ones that I just showed you. There's 24 that have the back view. We have a number of these characters must have them. I don't use those too often. So you can definitely go and search and, and get characters, um, more characters that might have those. That's right, some of our safari characters, like the boy, um, I know the safari boy has that as well. Um, they have looking with the binoculars. If This is one way I like this page because you can search for the term at the top. Sorry, I'm scrolling all the way to the top now. Hope you didn't get dizzy. If you go here, you can purchase some of the characters and do those. I just found that it was a little harder to search for it because it wasn't a web page, so I couldn't use my browser find. But you can also look them up. He has a back view um, with binoculars as well. So you can really make a crowd of so many different characters. And then with the 360 that you can change their clothing, hair, skin color, everything, um, you can use, you can make a lot of different actions there. For instance, if I did. Um, idea here, I can also rotate her a little more if I want her standing that way. So the crowd could be a little bit more 
dimensional. Whoops, I grabbed the wrong one. Um, so you can also not just make them perfectly to the back, you can angle them to the side, and then you could have characters over here as well. I hope that helped and you can make some fun scenes.